nice. Look at this sharing with the old uh, hair. <laughs> just have my hair cut. <laughs> just no, yeah. Yeah, this morning I'd gone. First of all, I'd um, I had to get my car out of Right, and I had to. So I've been up Bastard. since I've been up since half past five. So oh. yeah, half past five this morning. Because uh, obviously I had to get there early. So mm. got my car done. And uh, and once my car was done, I went off to the hairdressers, but there was a couple waiting. So it took a bit of time, so but I'm here now anyway, so and we can do a bit of uh, bit of reversing for you. Nice, that'll do. It's looking down there anyway, so it should be enough. Just going to shove this one down here, as long as it stays on. That is, try and oh, try and lim eliminate the uh, as much hair dust as I can fucking <laughs> do because uh, it's, it's fucking everywhere. Yeah, dear. I'm fucking molting like a cat. Oh, and I once, uh, yeah, as long as it, uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, rain at all, we should be fine. I hope I can find somewhere to put the damn thing now, though. that's any problem. Yeah, but at least now you can see the vehicle coming in, so at least that's summit. Right. Let's get on with it, shall we? Are we still recording? Fucking out we are after all that shit. <coughs> right, are we ready? As ready as we'll ever be. You are. Let's uh, wind the wind up a bit. Happy days are here again. Right. <laughs> yeah, now having the candle lit in a cab is not good, is it? <laughs> That's not a good idea. No, not really. Right. Out we go. Remember what I said to you before? When you're pulling out, make sure if you get close, you've got to really wind the wheel fast. So that you've uh, you can get out, you know, club or anything. Uh, put it down here. We want to get. Now you've got two gaps right next to each other, so you can't uh, get yourself into too much trouble. Yeah. But uh, watch what I'm what I'm doing here. All right. I think my camera just got drowned in water. Hang on. Just. All right. Wind it down so you can see what you're doing as you're going backwards. All right. Keep it straight for a little while because that's so far away I am at it. Right? Look at the mirrors, I know where I want to be. I'm making sure I've got enough room that side. And then, opposite lock because you want the trailer to go to the right, so you turn to the left. Right? And you guide it round, concentrating this side but keeping an eye on that side. But this is where you want to be. Right? And now that the trailer is in a position, you can now take the, the lock off. But to correct yourself, you've got to wind it back again and wind it back again. But I've always said, if you if you look at the oh shit, if you look at the uh, the trailer wheels and drive the trailer in, that's what you'll do, right? And as you can see, we're in the spot. It's not difficult. It isn't very hard, yeah. right? So uh, I'm going to take my coat off because it's getting in the way. What the fucking hell is that now? Oh no, no, it's just on the floor I just put because it's stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Fuck knows, some junk. Right, we'll do it again. Right, this time I'm going to turn around and, right, and do some manoeuvring around for you, okay? Yeah. And this is what I want you to do, basically. Right. Again, turn out and there's plenty of room. You can come round here if you want to and use this spot here as a bit of a reversing practice. But again, position yourself. As you can see, I've moved out to a diagonal, move this back over here, turn it round again. The trailer is cocked over. Mm -hmm. right? So my end unit's facing that way and the trailer's facing this way. Mm -hmm. Only slightly because I don't need to go too far. Mm -hmm. But again, reverse gear hanging out the window, look at the trailer and reverse the trailer, driving it backwards, right, 
follow the trail around enough just to manipulate it and increase opposite lock to send the trail around even more and then take it off as you slowly get yourself around so you can keep it steady and then you again wind it off to straighten it a little bit more right. and you have that take it off straighten up and there you go that's that bit done right and again forward take it down you want to go that way this time so pull forward send it over that way to the left kick it back to the right so now the trail is bent all right so it's bent in the direction you want to go and again reverse opposite lock to continue the bend so that the trailer goes to the right so you turn to the left and as you slowly go around then you can then start to gauge it by taking it off enough putting a bit back on if you need to keeping your eye on there watching there and just manipulate the steering wheel as you move backwards it's a nice continuous flow Right. and straighten yourself up to the lock off if you need to again position right forward again because we want to go back in that parking spot so take it round and because it's further away put yourself in a nice straight position for the trailer and unit straight <coughs> And once again, you know where your spot is, it is far away, so you just follow it straight for the time being. Let's wait for him to move. Where's he going? And as we go backwards, keep an eye on that space. Now looking out there, you know where, how much room you've got that side, where you keep quickly glancing out the mirror. And it's a matter of manipulating it enough, taking the wheel off, following it through, just a little bit more on, a little bit more off, and you, as you start to get into the parking bay, wind it off slowly, turn the wheel in, straighten it up a bit more by taking it off again, watching your mirrors, and in we go. Okay. One more time for the cheap sheets. Well, right, we're going to do it again. I'm going to do the. Okay. Okay. Here we go then. So now we pull out. You know what you've got on either side of you. Enough room. So you don't hit the pallets, obviously, but you've got to turn it quickly so that you don't tip the pallets out. And you're moving over. This time I'm going to cheat on the blind side. Right. I'm going to drive down here, because I can just drive straight back into that bay if I want to, that's just the cheap way, but this is blind side this is, so we're going to opposite way around, so now look as you can see the trailer is bent in that direction, right, so now we're going to reverse, I've got to watch him because he's got a nice new shiny Volvo, I'm going to be using the bottom mirror and the top mirror, but the bottom mirror gives me a wider angle, so now I want to reverse, I'm going to pass him, right, keep an eye on this side, but more so that side and as it locks around straighten yourself up this is a bit of a uh, it's a really awkward kind of reversing to do this is but blind side is something that will come in time don't try and do this straight away because this is more of a guessing kind of work than it is actually being accurate you know what i mean so and then you've got that then right so then you can carry on forward again I'll put it back around here and I'll put it back in the parking spot and most of the places you go to anyway you will be able to back onto bays or parking areas on the right side you haven't got to worry about blind side in it so as we drive on what is bear doing as we drive on you know where your space is you know what room you've got there as you get closer, keep an eye on that space and then lean out the window, you drive your trailer in. Nice and steady.
watching the mirrors, wind it off, compensate if you've gone a little bit too far, you know, that's what happens, it's not going to be a perfect shot every single time, but within, re <laughs> within, re within reason that's what you'll get, right? And that's it, that is pretty much all it is. But every time I'm, I'm manoeuvred and moved, I was constantly moving forward or constantly moving back. I didn't stop and was doing this lock, right? One hand, that's all you need because you need to be looking where that trail is going, right? It's, it's all you remember is drive the trailer in, don't reverse, right? It sounds strange, but the reason why I say it like that is because if you trying to reverse your brain's going to be like reversing oh, i'm going that way going, yeah, it's the wrong way right. but if you are looking at the wheels of the trailer look at the back of the trailer right simple as that and you've got your one hand on the wheel believe it or not your hand will automatically turn because you'll see the trailer go one way and then also you'll be doing this and you go oh and then you'll it'll click round, right you'll do that to move the trailer in the direction you want to go but try and keep moving as you do it, okay? You ready? Yeah, maybe wait to this one. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right, fine. Plenty of time. Yeah, you'll be fine. So if we uh, pull out, right, go up there, reverse down there, drive forward, reverse in there, because these are big, big spaces, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. I'll be with you anyway. If he's going, then great, but if he's not, then yeah. don't worry about it. I'm going to stand outside and watch you. <coughs> oh, don't you just love it when the plan comes together? <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm actually dancing. Oh, let's watch what he does here. I'm standing outside. That's why you can't see me, but you can hear me. <clears throat> Remember He's gonna try and put the trial on the unit in this in the position he wants, there we go. So now he's gotta try and reverse it down here and so send it down this uh, place between the front of the uh, trailers and the pallets. And hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. We've got the annoying reverse bleeper, but hey, whatever. I can always turn that off, that ain't a problem. <laughs> So far, so good. As you can see, because he's uh, again, he's not quite confident yet as uh, doing the reverse. He's on the bit on the piss. Hang on, and he's uh, not quite straight, but it doesn't matter. You can uh, turn your hazard lights off. You don't need them on. We're only playing. You don't need your hazard lights on. Don't forget now, you've got to go that way. Put the trailer and truck in the position you need. Yeah, 
you know, he's getting the hang of that now. <laughs> right, I'm going to back it in between these two uh, rows of trailers now. And as I give him the, uh, the free reign of the yard, with the wide apertures and wide spaces to do his first couple of reverses, which will get him position to put him into the bay. And I figure that if I give him uh, enough room so he can just reverse into that way, at least you know he hasn't got to worry about uh, being perfect. All right. better a lot better all right now that way down and then into the parking bay howdy I hope that thing there's still recording it ain't turned off <coughs> let's go have a look let's go and check oh I can still see a blinking red light that's good news <laughs> That'd be frigging gutted if you had turned off. Yeah, so far he's done so uh, done all right. Um, the first first one a bit skew if not so much of an importance because it's in the uh, yard. His uh, second uh, reverse into the other area of the yard a lot better. And now he's the trick. Can he get it in the parking bay? Two white lines over here. Going down there. <sighs> yeah, we're still having <laughs> we're still having vehicles coming through, which we're going to do because it's still a working yard. There's not a lot we can do about that, really. But uh, at least it's not too busy. That's the main thing. Let's just stand here to give him an idea where he's crying for. Come on, carry on. Now you're fine, carry on. You can get it in at that if you actually, if you do manipulate right, you'll get in there. Keep going. No. Remember, keep it locked on. You want the trailer to come this way. So keep it locked on. Sorry, lock it right on. No, you're at it, you got it, that's it. Anti-clockwise. You want the trailer to come this way, you see? Keep going. The other side's fine, that's why there's two gaps for you. You're fine. Keep going. 
Now take it off, clockwise, that's it, you got it. <coughs> you see, if anybody says that they can reverse a, a track tuning trailer, and they've never driven one before, they're talking out their arses, aren't they really? I need physio or get some painkillers. Keep going backwards for a bit more. No, keep going backwards. Go on. Oh, that'll do you. Okay. Because you're in the wrong position, but it's not, not a bad position, as you are now, I'm going to go forward, so lock it round and go forward. So anti clockwise and forward. Go on, keep going. I'll take it off a bit. Well, dear. Now, attack it again now. A bit more over to that way, and clockwise. Go on. Go on, you're all right. Keep going. Keep going. Now, come back to me. Other way, anti-clockwise. Keep going, anti-clockwise. Keep going, anti-clockwise with the wheel. Anti-clockwise. Go on, keep going backwards. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. That's it, done. Straighten your wheel up now. Put into, into drive. Do it again. Up there, reverse round, down there, reverse there, down there, in the spot. It's all good fun, isn't it? <coughs> it's, uh, you don't necessarily have to get it bang on every time. As long as you know how to correct the uh, little offsets that you do get yourself into, then there's not a problem. Um, obviously backing onto a dock at some DC somewhere is a little different but uh, at least they've got guide points for you to uh, help you out like on the floor most of them do not all granted but they have these great big steel uh, bars in the floor right so if you do slightly off as long as you, you scuff along them you'll get in the right place roughly they've got on the wall there's these big um, plastic uh, buffer pads on the wall um, there's a obviously there'll be lines as well better than these to, to help show you the the uh, width of the vehicle and where to put it like but um, if you are off at least knowing how to reposition yourself every time you're off you'll be fine so <laughs> like um, I've said to Simon before when you're at a bay and if you're slightly, as you're looking behind you, the vehicle is slightly over to the left, so you want to go over more to the right. Some people get a little bit confused because they'll then turn to the left, even though they're over to the left, thinking that when they turn to the left, because the back end will cock over, 
but it's the wrong direction because when you then straighten yourself up you've put yourself back further over to the left so if you are over to the left you need to move over to the right first snake it back over to the left then sort of straighten yourself up as much as you can and what you'll find is when you go that way the trailer our sender's gone to the left but as then you just swing it round back to the left from going right it straightens the back end up and pulls it over really weird isn't it it's one of those things anyway let's see how he's getting on it's not very fucking warm i'll tell you that now but anyway, i do remember it being a lot colder last year i think there was ice on the fucking floor back then good grief <coughs> i think he'll do i'll give him this one one last go with the cameras on i'll turn him off then and i'll uh i think i might call it a day and let him carry on his own then right here we go attempt number two Let's see if he can do a better version of what he did earlier hopefully he will we'll see i'm going to give him a, a visual point so he knows where he's going by standing in the way for him <laughs> See, as he's, uh, he's now manipulating the front of the unit to steer the trailer towards me and into this gap. Looks like he's having problems with his arm. <laughs> You're 30 fucking four for crying out loud, not 54. <clears throat> Take it up a bit more now. Other way, anti-clockwise, go on, right away, fastly. You're going to do it faster than that. <clears throat> That's it. Now take it right off again. It's to do with trying to manipulate the vehicle, you see. Keep going. Keep going. You see now, once again, because it's slightly offset, you need to pull forward and drive out and then back in and it's just a matter of correcting it that's all <coughs> no no too much you're going to bring it over here just a touch keep coming keep coming now you send it over Okay, straighten up. Straighten it up. That's it. Now back it in. <clears throat> Should we do one more for the cheap sheet, shall we? No, no, he's right. Keep going round. Anti clockwise round, that's it, clockwise. See there, and the trial is twisted now. Keep going backwards. Now lock it off really fast. Go on, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. And there you are, in the bay. All right. Jump in then, let's go and have another go. One more go for the cheap seats. And he's left it in reverse here, look, the monkey has. Wasn't too bad, huh? Nah, it's fine, that was. There was no pressure because of the, you know, 
no pressure. There's never any pressure. Pressure doesn't oh. exist in this job. We're all no, fucking happy boys. Right. <clears throat> the reason why, obviously, it's not too much of a bother because there isn't another trailer there. But yeah, each yeah. time that you've backed it in there, not a problem, it's great. But if there was a trailer there, it yeah. would be a different right. question. So. But I'll go out and go in. Yeah, yeah, well, like I said, this is, this is, I'm doing this for you so that you can use this today and just keep oh, yeah. going and keep going and keep going. And this is my last attempt just for these lots anyway. Because they like to see me playing with these things, don't they? So, let's wind that round again. So, all you do, nice little fast one for you. Manipulate the vehicle. It's not going to hurt you. There's nothing, no need to be frightened of it. Right, stick it in gear, turn the wheel round. We want to go backwards, so backwards we go. And then forward. Again, we want to put it over there, so we'll manipulate so it goes over there. Turn the wheel around, put the trailer in that curved position, ready to go. Steer it in, take it down, go that way, again, end it round. Nice and steady to a point. Well, she's like a bit of a bit of a sped up version. We'll go backwards now. Watching where we've got to go. And that is it. The advantage is that it's 12 years down the road, like yeah. you know what I mean. But um, <laughs> well, that's that's like I say, it's it's getting used to manipulating the steering wheel. Don't think that you when you reverse backwards, this. When you want to go that way, it won't work because you'll go that way. Right? Yeah, the problem was earlier on with my shit reversing, I think, in my opinion anyway, that I didn't put the trailer first when I was going forward first. It doesn't always mean that you can though. Yeah, That's I doing that just yeah. to show you yeah. that to, if you, you, if you put, you can, yeah. But there's going to be some places but, where you yeah, can't. I we, mean, we were, you know, we yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. So there's a lot of places where you know you'll end yeah. up being. So like stuck in a position where you're not going to be able to uh, <coughs> do what I'm, what I'm showing you here to set yourself up. But when you can, take advantage. You want to go that way, set the vehicle up so it's on the on the piss like this, right? And then obviously you can put it in the bay then. Done. See? Play whatever you want. Definitely. I will get paid by the hour. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's it. As I simple as that, really. Reversing took me two hours. I don't think. It's just uh, now because I've got my the cars in there, it's uh, no space down there, so no matter. I'll leave it at that. So if I'll leave this parked here for you, right? And what you can do if you want to, I mean, there's two spaces here as well, use them. Right, so your task for as long as you want today, right, it's up to you, yeah. until somebody has to text this vehicle off you. Yeah. <laughs> Out of here. Like this. Right. You can go round, reverse up there, drive down there, reverse into there, mm -hmm. come out of there, right, come back up here, reverse down there, reverse there, and reverse into here. 
You can choose any spot you want, any position you want, okay? And that's for you. I hope you a lot enjoyed that. Right? Yeah, it's your benefit. And Simon's having fun anyway.